Let's talk about you, shall we? Let's talk about you. What's up? What are you doing this weekend? What's going on? I'll tell you. I don't know. In New Jersey, you know, it's cold. I don't, you know, I'm probably going to be thinking back about this interview this weekend. Really? Oh my God. I'm so honored. I I will too. (laughs) I'm so pumped. I love these earrings you got going. These are cool. Let me tell you how much I love these earrings. They look metal, but they're, I don't know what they're made of, but they're, they're really flexible. Oh, oh, this shout out to whoever made them little product place. Got them at the TJ Maxx where you get the max for the minimum. Boom, boom, drop it. Boom and boom. (laughs) (laughs) So let me, let me start and ask you just in general with everything going on in the world, how are you doing? Uh, I'm a big dumpster fire right now. So (laughs) no, (laughs) a little bit of truth, but, um, you know, uh, I've gotten to, uh, you know, through this time, I, I was finished up made for love in, uh, Los Angeles. And after that, I got to come, uh, a house opened up right by, uh, my family in Georgia. So I've been spending time just gardening, hanging out on a lake, uh, and building a house with my dad. So like, some of the best best times I've had in a long time, to tell you the truth. I Just love, really connecting with my family. I love yeah. that. I love to know that you are gardening and that you are handy. Hello, yes. building a son house. Of a, son of a carpenter, you know, we're what? renovating their whole house. Yeah. Oh, and I love that. Just did the ceilings yesterday. So yeah. okay. Okay. Crazy. Well, that is very interesting. <laughs> love, love learning about you. Well, good. I'm glad that with everything that's going on, that you're able to have that family time yeah. and do things like gardening that just help with the whole mental of, of dealing with everything. You know what I mean? It is, man. I talk to plants all the time. <laughs> yeah. No. I do. My little tomatoes. I like, I talk to them. My basil. I love it. <laughs> love that about you. And then I'll make my, I'll get the, the mozzarella and cut them up and then I'll make a little, what do you, now I can't think of the word. Uh, the type olive of oil. mozzarella, olive oil, tomatoes, basil, mozzarella. What is that called? Caprese? Is that Caprese? Caprese! <laughs> Wait, you cook too? Yes. Uh, yes. If Come I didn't get on. into the acting stuff, I would have probably went into culinary arts. Yeah. Oh my God. Somebody tell Stanley Tucci to sit on down. Oh my God. I, I love Stanley Tucci. Actually, that's how I learned to make a, a gin martini. Oh no, a, a gimlet. Really? No, is it a, not a gimlet. He was teaching the gin. It is, it's a, uh, it's Negroni, Negroni. That's what it Wait. is. It's a proper Negroni. Did he teach you like in person or were you watching him somewhere? No, I was in his closet just peering through watching him do it. So <laughs> now he like put it on like Instagram or something. Yeah. I was going to say creepy Billy, that trend that helps us segue into the, to made for love. <laughs> yes. Because your character is literally described as a sociopath billionaire tech executive. Where do we even begin with this guy? Tell us about your character. Um yeah, I play a character, Byron Gogol. Uh, well, first of all, I just want to say, like, Made for Love, I, this is one of the dearest projects I've been a part of. It's really? it's funny, like, through my career and stuff, yeah, like, I get to work with Kristen Milioti, which I truly adore. She is one of the most talented actresses out, or actors in the world. I absolutely believe this. Ray Romano, again, and then the production is prominently uh, female-driven. The producers, the writers, the directors, and, like, being on this, this uh, you know, side of the wave of what uh, is popular now or what needed to happen is really awesome to be a, a support in that, that movement. So I, 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 this means so much to me, this whole, this whole project. So I um, imagine. And yeah. Tell us what the, tell us, what the sto- tell us the story. Set it up for us. Um, at the end of the day, it's a story about love and divorce and a couple trying to actually connect. Um, (laughs) It is. Well, and then there, uh, except for the chip and putting a chip in my wife's head uh, and also dolphins, you know, Um, it's, but at bare minimum, it's about people trying to connect and understand each other. And really what, what is love? What are we all searching for? You can't control it. And it's, it's these two people just trying 
to connect and find what they used to love about each other and uh how do we how do we find love like that yeah. you know yeah well do you feel like you know as i as i described your character um these are these are the production company's words is described as a sociopath do you yeah. have anything in common with you know usually when you play a bad guy right there's some as an actor redeeming quality that you find about the person you know yeah, you have to like um, them I would think what do you like about Byron well first of all I, I you know the bad guy isn't the bad guy in his story he's actually he's the good guy he's the hero in his story so right. uh, addressing a character that way is um, most important. He's not a bad guy. He is trying to get his wife back. The woman that he absolutely loves and adores and feels really complete who he is. Um, and it's, it's actually sad. It's a sad guy that um, is, is just trying to find love by controlling it. And that's not how love works. You have to actually give freedom and give uh, op uh, be open and vulnerable to your partner. And that's, that is Byron's struggle is the vulnerability and acceptance that you can't control everything, especially coming from a tech world of numbers and coding and structure. Um, but love, love is just ethereal. It's like in the air. Yeah, it's so true. And and as you mentioned, you know, there's the whole chip in the head thing. Does this, does this do, <laughs> the whole, that whole little thing, <laughs> this whole thing, did that make you rethink technology, like using Siri or, you know, anything around you? Like, did it make you kind of rethink technology doing this movie or no? Yes. Um, uh, I have to say, I weirdly, this, this, this tool that was supposed to connect us has disconnected us completely. And also we've had a global pandemic that has really disconnected where you know we're having this meeting through it so it there is wonderful things and we can connect this way but there is the separation this barrier that cancel culture just kind of exists now with all this stuff because you can turn someone off in real life you can't turn someone off you actually have to you have to sit through them the uncomfortable parts and uh listen more um <laughs> Yeah, I think that's very true. <laughs> yeah, you get, I, you, you know, you've been at a party and you've someone said something and you're like, wow, that was really off putting, but I have to still remain here and maybe try to understand and come to a common ground with someone. Yeah. And this technology, yeah, we're, we can just turn it off whenever we want, weirdly. And that's the disconnection, it means nothing. Yeah, you know, it's, yeah. That's interesting. Uh, I, I I don't think I answered any of your questions so far. Yeah, so I feel like I'm no, doing great. No, listen, <laughs> listen. You got a future with this whole acting thing. It's working out. It's really working out well. I'm telling you. Yeah. <laughs> so wait. Speaking of which, um, you just posted on Instagram. You just finished directing your first movie, The Carpenter. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you so much. I'm like, it. I, I get. I cast my dad as the lead role. Um, I had a friend write it. I had a wonderful production team, Right Media, down in Atlanta, uh, mm -hmm. help put it together. And I have to say, it was one of the most enriching, enjoyable experiences I've ever had to uh, have my family be a part of it and just kind of take them through the life that I've been living for the past, uh, God, how long is it? 18 years. Um, <laughs> you know, it's um, it really was wonderful. And it, it's, you know, taking all the tools I've, kind of uh, acquired throughout the years and finally putting to putting them in practice. Um, I love that. Yeah, I, I, I'm still so lucky. I can't tell you how you lucky are, I am. You are, you are. You have lots to be grateful for. And we have to lean into that gratitude these days. We do. I mean, yes. all we have is now in the present and I'm grateful to be here with you. Yep, me too. Ditto, right yeah. back at you. Okay, <laughs> let's talk about, you got so many great things going on. Let's talk about the Sopranos reboot. Come on oh, now. Oh, yeah. You're playing Polly Walnuts. What yep. will we learn about him in this series? And let's talk about what you're doing with your hair. What am I doing with my hair on the Polly Walnuts thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Did I have a wig? Yeah, I think I had a wig. <laughs> I had the, I sh the, what's crazy is that was like two years ago. Two, what? Two and a half. Yeah. I, I, I was shooting that and then going to Bond at the same time. So I was going back and forth. Wow. Um, Your life. I, 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 Come I, on. I have I'm to going between the something. Sopranos and Bond. 
<laughs> I know. I at the time, I uh, again, like you, you just feel like you're treading water and you're just trying to keep up. Um, yeah. But again, like I am so grateful for those opportunities. Um, yeah, uh, the I love working with like all the people on the Sopranos team. Uh, you know, David Chase made an amazing franchise that is absolutely uh, has a stronghold in uh, cinema history or television history. Um, and to play such an iconic character as Bolly Walnuts. Um, <laughs> let's see how it goes. <laughs> That's all I can say. Um, I had a great time doing it, but yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be good. Uh, they did all prosthetics and stuff like that. Yeah, it was, it was I'm fun. sure you had to. Yeah. Again, Paulie's again not a villain in his life. He's just having a good time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> None of those mobsters, right? None of yeah. them. <laughs> There, no one's the bad guy. Yeah. So you mentioned James Bond. You're going to be mm -hmm. in the movie No Time to Die. Tell us yep. absolutely everything. You're playing a villain, right? Nope. I can't. Uh, if I told you, I'd have to kill you. So I, I have oh no my answer. Goodness. Well, that is good to know then. I, guess I am very excited about this film and having the opportunity to work with Carrie Fukunaga again and everyone on the production side of the Bond franchise. Like, that that was unbelievable experience. I don't, I can't tell you what I am in it, but I'm I'm excited. But you're something. You're somebody. I I yeah. I hand Bond a martini. Yeah, it's shaken, right? Not stirred. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's it. <laughs> they probably cut my line. So. This is the same guy that directed Maniac. Yes, it is. Yeah. Well, that's nice. Yeah, that's good. I I could call Carrie a buddy. Uh, I think he's one of the most profound prolific directors of our time and like he is i can't wait to see even where he continues to go and grow because i i truly love that guy and I, i'm glad i get to call him a friend so are you all done with the production of it is it all done i think we were done like two, two years ago because it was supposed to come out like april 2020 i think that's right and then everything happened so i i haven't seen anything so i'm a, i'm as excited as you are well, I am very excited about it. I and wish I had some more good stuff. I, I, I'm yeah, sorry. Listen, just talking to you is good stuff. You are a very interesting you too. person. It really you. is. Well, listen, I want to let everybody know that Made for Love is available now on HBO Max. <laughs> Billy, oh, Billy, thank you so much. You're great as always. You are wonderful as always. Thank you for your time.